Professor Diaz here, and in this video, I'm going to introduce the production possibilities frontier. So the production possibilities frontier, or PPF, um, is the first graph we cover in this course. On the y-axis, and when I say y-axis, I'm talking about up and down. When I say x-axis, I'm talking about side to side. So up here is y, over here is x. Um, on the y-axis, we have a good, and on the x-axis, we have a different good. So these can be any goods. Um, guns and butter has been a traditional or historical economic thing to choose. But we're going to go ahead and say um, apples and uh, we'll say blueberries. Okay, so apples and blueberries. That looks more like a cherry. Let's say cherry, cherries and blueberries, okay? So the production possibilities frontier is a graph that shows a country's opportunity to produce one of two goods, okay? So this is, an, this is a model that assumes that a country can only produce two goods, okay? So it's just a model because of course every country can produce um, hundreds, thousands, millions of different goods and services, right? So we're gonna assume for simplicity that this country can only produce two goods. They can produce cherries, over here, or they can produce blueberries. Now, the more cherries they produce, um, the less blueberries they produce. And conversely, the more blueberries they produce, the less cherries they produce. So let's say that this country can produce one, two, three, four uh, cherries if they'd like. So we can say four million cherries or four cherries. It doesn't really matter because this is just a model, right? And if they produce four cherries, going up, ready, one, two, three, four, they produce zero blueberries, okay? So we can put some hash marks here on the blueberry line, one, two, three, four. And so if they produce uh, four cherries, then they produce zero blueberries. So we could make a mark right here. And conversely, let's say that this same country, if they produce all blueberries, can produce no cherries. So if, let's say if they produce all blueberries, they can produce two blueberries. So one, two, if they produce two blueberries, then that's zero cherries. Now I want you to notice the graph, right? If we're up one, two, three, four on the Y axis, we're all the way over here at zero. Okay, this point right here where the Y and the X cross is called the origin. Okay, so this would be considered zero, zero, all right? Um, and of course we have zero, one, two, three, four, and then zero, one, two, three, four. That's why we call this point right here the origin because it's zero, zero, okay? So if we produce four cherries, we can draw a line down and see that we're producing zero blueberries. Or if we're producing two blueberries, one, two blueberries, we draw a line over and see that we're producing zero cherries. Now, the production possibility frontier looks at these maximums, and with the basic model, we just draw a straight line between these two points, okay? So we'll draw a line like this. That line right there is called the production possibilities frontier, or the production possibilities curve, okay? This line right here represents the options of production that this country can produce. Now, we can draw different points on this curve. So for example, let's say uh, we look right here. If we, this country chooses to produce here, that would be producing two cherries and one blueberry, okay? If they were to produce right here, that would be one cherry and one and a half blueberries. Okay, so you can see kind of how this works is that as you slide up and down the line, um, you're producing more or less um, cherries or blueberries. Now, notice as long as you're on this line, so let's say you're right here, you cannot produce more blueberries, that is move over this way, unless you also produce less cherries, okay? In order to produce more blueberries, that is to slide over, you also have to slide down. This is our first um, application of opportunity cost. If we wanna slide in the direction of producing more blueberries, 
we have to slide down in the production of cherries, right? And if we wanna go from here and produce more cherries, we have to slide up the line, which means to produce more cherries, we have to produce less blueberries. Like I said, this is our first application of opportunity costs. You can either produce cherries at the expense of blueberries, or you can produce blueberries at the expense of cherries, but you can't produce both, okay? Now, if we are, let's go back and put our production possibilities frontier up here. If we're looking at this production possibilities frontier and we're operating, let's say we're producing one cherry and one blueberry. In this case, we can produce both more cherries and more blueberries because we can go out, excuse me, we can go out to this line, right? So in this case, we're going up in cherries and up in blueberries. This is because we're producing under capacity. We're inside the production possibilities frontier, okay? So when we're inside the production possibilities frontier, we say we're underemployed. We're not employing our resources fully. We're not using our resources fully. And so in this case, we can produce more of each or we could produce um, of more cherries and not change our production in blueberries, right? In this case, we're producing one blueberry. In this case, we're producing one blueberry. So you see we produced almost a whole more cherry or more than a, a full cherry without losing any blueberry production. This is because we're underemployed. We're underemploying our resources, okay? If the, if the production point is out here, we would call this unattainable, right? This is outside the frontier. You can't produce beyond in this region, right? You can produce in this region, but you can't produce outside the production possibilities frontier. It's the maximum you can produce, okay? Um, this is basically, a, I think, a good stopping point. This introduces the idea of production possibilities frontier. We'll come back in the next video and I will introduce the curve production possibilities frontier.